What is going on in Isles International right now? What's up investors? As you know, Isles stock has dropped like a rock in recent weeks, so in this video I will look at some possible reasons for this. I will look at the overall market sentiment across both the OTC and the big boards and how trouble brewing in Ukraine might be affecting Isles more than people think. But first, Isles announced their plans and expectations for 2022, so let's dive straight into that. If you like this content, can you smash the like button? It literally costs nothing, but it helps me out so much. I'm aiming for over 300 likes on this video, help me make it happen. And if you would like to support my work and get access to when I find these new opportunities, at a very tiny cost, check out my Patreon, where I first alerted Isles last year at only 5 cents, along with many other stocks that nobody else is talking about that have made multi-bagger gains, such as Boss Energy, which has gained over 240%, or Petrotech, which has gained over 310% since I first alerted it. On Friday, Isles announced its 2022 revenue expectations and plan for current acquisitions and business divisions. A lot of people tend to forget just how young of a company this really is. Isles has only just completed its first full financial year and is now providing its expected revenue and its current acquisitions and business divisions along with a summary of the plan for each business. So to keep this video as short as possible, I won't go through this press release in detail, but I have highlighted the main points first. Isles now has several patents, a vast amount of intellectual property, its own global manufacturing facilities and the beginnings of its own distribution network. Isles is now entering its scale up phase and is expecting 300% growth in 2022. Key to the company's high valuation potential is its ability to generate high margin sales through its ownership of an entire production and sales life cycle, combining with its ownership of not one, but several high growth public safety solutions. Now this is something that the company did not have up until recent months. Isles had made three acquisitions prior to December 2021, but Isles has now acquired six companies and is currently completing the acquisition of a further four. The expectation now is to increase its 2022 revenue on a quarterly basis to a run rate of 40 to 55 million dollars with the potential to quintuple its 2022 revenue expectations and generate hundreds of millions in revenue in the next two to three years. So first of all, Isles has seen a huge drop in price recently from highs of 50 cents in November. The stock had crashed from 25 cents to 15 cents in February alone. And there is a number of reasons for this in my opinion, so bear with me while I discuss it. Number 1. This is an OTC penny stock and a lot of OTC is down a lot in recent weeks. Especially companies that had made huge gains over the past few months. 2. There is a lot of FUD being spread on social media regarding the share structure and dilution and a lot of other nonsense. Sentiment in the stock market has shifted in the past few weeks, investors in mega cap holdings such as Facebook, Amazon and Apple have dropped a few percent but because of their valuations this has dropped the entire index. During 2021 we've seen so many stocks drop like 60, 70, even 80% of the valuations both listed and on the OTC but we kept seeing the stock markets hitting new all time highs. This was largely due to the fact that a number of mega cap stocks had continued to rise but now they have dropped a little bit and people are panicking and the foot is spreading. The FANG companies which consists of Facebook, Apple, Amazon, Netflix, Microsoft and Google currently makes up 23% of the entire S&P 500. So when these stocks take a hit the entire index takes a hit no matter what the rest of the market is doing. If you look at the chart over the past year, Isla stock moves heavy on acquisition news and updates on Nasdaq uplisting. These have been quiet recently after a lot of updates in late 2021 when we've seen the share price run up. Finally, this is something that nobody else is talking about with regards to Isla's. The troubles over in Ukraine regarding Russia. President Biden has warned that US citizens should leave Ukraine immediately, saying that war could break out at any moment. This is having a major effect on the market as stocks tumbled on Friday. The Nasdaq was down 3% on the day which reminds me of the crash in 2020 at the start of the pandemic. Anyways, the reason I am talking about this 
is Eilis is expanding into southeastern Europe, where Eilis is acquiring an enormous manufacturing facility through a significant government privatization deal. Although Isla stands to receive several millions in government subsidies, incentives and potential manufacturing contracts, which will substantially reduce manufacturing costs and increase margins, just take a look at the world map and look at Southeast Europe. We are talking about the epicenter of tensions in the world right now, and this cannot be ignored. This could be the beginning of a world war as most European countries have now advised any citizens currently in the Ukraine to return to their home country. And I do feel that this will have an effect on Eilis too. In 2022, Eilis expects to generate between 5 and 6 million from Firebug, 3 and 4 million from TVC, and 6 to 8 million from BCD Fire. A further 4 or 5 million from Georgia Fire, 3 to 4 from Bullhead, and expects to generate between 9 and 11 from Precision Power Products, with a further 4 million from E Raptor sales. Eilis also plans to house its newly formed renewables division at its new manufacturing facility in southeastern Europe too. Although Eilis expects revenue from Vera Jones, the focus as it says here is for Vera Jones to register patents, certifications, prototypes, increase manufacturing capability and develop the flying as a service model. Delivery in these areas is key to Vera Jones obtaining a multi-billion dollar valuation in the medium term future. Once relevant approvals are in place, Eilis is confident that Vera Jones can generate tens of millions and rapidly move towards hundreds of millions in revenue. Further 2022 plans by Eilis include significant entering of the defence sector and consequently the creation of its defence division. In addition, Eilis plans to incorporate an upcoming UK acquisition into its ERT division and an upcoming US fixed firefighting systems acquisition into its integrated systems division. Now JP has added here that technology based valuations will become sustainable in the short to medium term, superseding that of any revenue based valuation given that this is an early stage business in only its 14 month of operation. And that is something that is easily forgotten, just how new Eilis really is. Back in January of 2021 this was still trading at less than half a penny. It is very easy to look at the chart over the past 3 months and see the huge drop from 50 cents back in November down to the current price. But let's not forget that Eilis was only 4 cents back in August having fallen from a height of 18 cents in May. The very same things that I see being said about Eilis right now were said back then too and I feel confident that this will bounce back. Has there been hype around Eilis over the past few months? Yes of course. You don't go from being half a penny to 50 cents and talking about Nasdaq without attracting hype. But that does not mean that the hype is unfounded. A lot of OTC stocks get hyped up and nothing ever materialises. Acquisitions don't get done and patents don't get approved. A lot of OTC stocks then use the hype to drive up the share price and dilute. Again, none of this is happening at Eilis. As JP says here, What's most important is that we are delivering substantial growth upon firm foundation. Our team has accomplished a great deal already this year and we have so much more still to complete this quarter including some of our most exciting deals. So I look forward to this in the upcoming weeks as well as seeing an upturn in the share price going forward. So guys that brings us to the end of the video. Let me know what you were thinking about Eilis. Drop a comment, smash the like, check out my Patreon where we search for the next Eilis and I'll catch you in the next one.